Right, I've just had to put my hat and gloves on, scarf, for um, a while. We'll be going to a more shaded area. The sun is breaking through and the stream is running. We should... Probably why I didn't notice the stream further down is it had been dry for a long time. They must have been redirecting some of the water flow, I think. I mean, of course, when if, if there's torrential storms, it comes all down here as well. I'm using the little camera. It's okay on video and it does zoom. I've got both cameras in my pocket at the moment. I thought I'd use this one as well. There's the hill fort up there. And the steps are going up that way. Um, like I said, I'll do, oh, that'll be another thing. I, I do have to come out here on several occasions to do the whole thing, usually. Uh, when I had Alberta, it was different. I'd parked down by the pub and I could still be wandering around 8 o'clock in the evening, but you can't when you're relying on a bus service, you see. You have to, the last bus is about 6 o'clock from Cheddar. I'm already an hour late, so I've just got to do the sort of the main route that I've planned to do anyway. I plan to do this route. But of course, I, like I say, I often get the five o'clock bus, just in case. <sighs> yeah, this will zoom. I think this does zoom on a... There's two lovely trees up there. They probably just stick out on the... Two lovely little trees that... Could be little holly bushes that have been allowed to grow. So here we are, folks. This is Sheila out here. It's going to be over six months since I've been out here. Um, I can't remember what route I took, but I know I did a big hike. Um, partly on what I've done now and right across. I, that was one of my last big hikes that I did. Um, I haven't been able to do some of my hikes this year, which I normally do because of um, the restrictions and having to be very careful with public transport. I mean, you still got to be very careful. But now the restrictions are lifted, I'm going to use them and I'm taking all precautions. But out here, as you can see, it's beautiful. You can see a lot of people have been using here though, over the winter, can't you? Look how well stamped on it is. It's actually made it easier for the rest of us to walk on now actually. It used to be a very bumpy route this one. There's the massive hill fort everyone. I do like going up it. But um, not today. I've got. I want to weave in and out of the trees today, and uh, just have a leisurely walk around and back to Cheddar. <coughs> That's Plan A, and possibly get an ice cream at the end of it. Oh, just seen a deer. I don't. It won't, I haven't got the viewfinder, but through the back there. Yeah, it won't come out. There's a deer just gone through the hedge there. But it won't come out. There's a young deer. He just came along there and then hopped over a fence. I can still see him with the naked eye, but I've got the wrong camera for zooming in. He's, gone, he's going up in there. All the different lights and glitterings will... But with the naked eye, I, have, I can see. I can see that deer. It's um, already gone from view, though. A young, a young deer. Of course, uh, the other side of that hill there is uh, Roborough Church. Yeah, I can hear the birds. Oh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been longing to come out here. 
like I said, I haven't been able to do some of the walks because um, I haven't been able to come out, basically. It's too far for me to walk. I do need the bus service to get me out here because there's a lot of walking once you're out here. Um, it's nice to see that there's some deer about. Definitely. But I think there'll be a lot more signs of humans. Definitely this. Because it's made it easier for everyone to walk along. But it it will go wildish again. It will. You've got to remember everyone that there's been people out of work. People on lockdown. People on furlough. Um, people have lost their jobs. And been encouraged to get out in the air with their families and this is what's happened now this used to be sort of whitish but not this is well trodden ground now but like I said it does make it easier because it used to hurt your feet walking around here yeah I put my scarf and hat back on because I know I was going in the wood it would be a little bit more shady and chilly um, I miss an hour of brilliant sunshine, unfortunately, having to wait for the bus, which I missed by minutes. I had to get wait for the second bus to come at 10 o'clock. And so basically, I lost an hour of my time, big time. <laughs> an hour makes a difference. But I'm still going to take it nice and leisurely just seeing if I can see any deer blending into that hillside there lots of nooks and crannies where the deer can feel safe out there they do um, maintain this area the forest, forest and they do replant as well there has been what this ash dieback problem and they, there is occasional poster which tells you what they're doing. But they've done a lot of replanting up on that hill there. A lot of replanting. And they did a massive cull, if you like, over the last five years. They're like two big mounds though, aren't they? Look, one there. One there. Yeah, I think they must have um, allowed the water back down because there are underground pipes here that um, they can use to drain off excess water and that. But it's nice to see the stream going down through the houses there. Yeah. I expect the deer was spooked by me thinking, oh, it's that woman, she's back. Yeah, I've been exploring this for quite a long time now. Um, since 2008, I started to realise I could get on a bus. At one time I used to get off the bus at Sanford and walk along that road. And I, I, I used to walk through Churchill and come up. But I, I found another way, which is going up by the quarry, which is a lot prettier and quieter. So I thought, well, rather than walk the roadway with some small elements of risk, or big if you get killed, of course, I'll go up by the quarry. And I, I've been doing that. And then, when, of course, when I had my van, I would park further over. I'd miss out the quarry section, just come park up by the pub and come straight into here and then do a massive, loads of exploring without having to worry about a bus. That was the great thing about it. I could just come out and not even think about a bus. I just get back to my van, whether it's... I never used to be out later than 8 o'clock. Same on the Quantox. I could go out and do a big hike. Right, a massive hike. 
and not even think to myself, oh God, I better hurry up and get back. Because I've done, I've had to do speed walking at times when you, when you rely on buses. And of course I did love Alberta. I used to park Alberta up, pay five pounds for the parking for the day. Fair enough, it used to cost me a tenner that day out. Uh, if not 15 quid because I'd put five pounds worth of petrol in, five pounds for parking and then five pound to have sausage chips and a can of coke at the end of the walk. Uh, but I could then get back to Alberta with my chips and my, it might be a pie, it might be fish, it might be a sausage. <sighs> And I could sit in my van and have my my supper before driving home. Now I really did love that. But uh, she failed the MOT. I needed a thousand pounds, which I didn't have at the time, uh, to get a new exhaust. Well, not brand new. She'd already had an exhaust. Uh, my pension pot. I had a lump sum when I retired. And um, I used some of it to buy Alberta with. Yeah, I used some of it. And then, um, and I had it for six years. I had a great time. I had, I went everywhere and I, I, I didn't really want to end it exactly. So I've still got energy to do that sort of thing. But I'm also enjoying the break, even though I miss, I talk about not having her for this, that and the other. <sighs> anyway, I've probably discussed this on other videos. And Zara would start repeating me as if to say, Mum, I know that, you've told me that a thousand times. <sighs> She's got a good memory, that's her problem. <laughs> So there we go. I'm going to stop now and take a picture of this area. Overnight.